rounds of this. Okay, once you get done with that, we're gonna rotate in, 500 meter run, 10 heavy kettlebell swings, 10 rack and re rack and I'll show you the skills here in a second. Elbows releasing, body staying close, as soon as you hit that trigger. Five walking lunges, right leg, left, side right, side left. Flip, catch, stop, pop, catch, stop, pop, catch. On the kettlebell swings, I want you guys to do a power movement. So basically, you're going to hinge at the hip and pop. We don't want the elbows and we don't want you to dip. Sit back in your hips, put your head between your shoulder blades and just hold. Gonna do that five reps. Nice and tall, keep the ribs down. Really hinge that hip. Yep, straight up. Nice. Nice and tall, chin tucked down. And I want you to watch me first. Gonna hold this bottom position for 10 seconds. Pushing out or pushing in on your knees. Then I want you to stand up, stretch that hamstring out, or floss it for five, then come right back down to that bottom. Your heels should stay in. They shouldn't roll up. They should stay in. The pull happens from your ankles to your knees. Nobody does that. Everybody takes a slack out, then you pull with your arms. Why would the meters go anywhere before you got here and start pulling? Power at the ankles to the knees. Yeah, good. Chest up, pinch the shoulders back. Gonna hinge at the hip, reach down, smiley face out. Let's make those laces out on the ball. So we're here, fists only. I want you to pull until you're in a tall position. So on my count, ready, and up, reset. Arms long, up, don't let those elbows bend. Good, reset, reach back with that ball. It shouldn't be coming straight down. It should be like uh, a long snapper. You're getting ready to hike it. It shouldn't be out in front of you, it should be behind you. And up, where you consciously put yourself in that position to where it's like, Pull, hip extension, shoulder shrug, drop. Outrun it, outrun it, outrun it, stop. Catch it when he gets there. All he has to do is drop and catch it before I let it go. Ready, 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 drop. I didn't let it go. Saw how fast he tried to get there. That's what I want. So it's knee to elbow, hit the brakes, punch. Knee to elbow, hit the brakes, punch. Or if you were gaming it, it's that whole cycle thing, right? But you can't do any of it unless you through the hip. This is the um. Mm. 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 Not quite a knee to elbow. <laughs> so instead of it being a no rep, we're gonna we're gonna count it. We're gonna do nine knee to elbows or 14 umps. Eight lunges, that's four left, four right, seven mad ball clean. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And all the way through. And all the way through. Good. Let's reach back. I want to double stop. Pull, brakes, reach back. Pull, brakes, reach back. Pick it up. You got those 90 reps in. Now we can get some work. Most workouts are supposed to be designed to discover a weakness. Your hips will go for a long time and recover. Lactic build up buffers the muscle and makes it safe. But once your core goes, you gotta rest and recover before you go again. That's why we're so big on midline stabilization, keeping all that going. Yeah, but if I go 
and drop it and reset and drop it. I'll do that in about three minutes. But if you, you basically did a jerk on the way up and on the way down. So it's twice as long. You'll do it in about seven minutes. Six. Team six. six. <laughs> Team six holding it down. Thank <laughs> you.